Do you guys, uh, you guys see anything different in the, uh, the background? A little something, something? <laughs> Such a stupid intro. It came! Oh, wait, it, uh, it came! Let me show you guys this. It's been, I want to say, five years since I got this. This was for my main YouTube channel. I got 100,000 subscribers. They send you a reward. This is the old, I guess, five years ago version of the YouTube play buttons. To this day, one of my, my biggest social media accomplishments, right? Flash forward to today, and we have Get a General Gaming 100,000 subscribers. This is the, uh, the new one. It's almost cooler that they changed the design of them uh over the years because i have like the og the og youtube play button and then this one for the gaming channel that you know never in a million years that i think this would happen so to have both of these is like crazy to me those are most definitely crooked in my head there was only one way to properly celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers on this channel one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's possible for me. Let's say we average one kickflip a second, right? That feels fair. One one thousand, two one thousand, so maybe like one every three quarters of a second. One hundred thousand seconds to minutes. One thousand six hundred and sixty-six minutes. One thousand six hundred and sixty-six minutes to hours. Woohoo! Twenty-seven point seven hours. So a little bit over one day. Twenty-seven point seven hours days so a little bit less than one and a quarter days of doing one kickflip a second to get 100,000 kickflips now unfortunately I'm not Mr. Beast I wish I was for multiple reasons so I got to thinking I there, ha there has to be a way to do this right so my, my first thought which was pretty quickly shot down was literally doing 100,000 kickflips I'm not gonna sit here for 27 hours. I love you guys, it's not happening. My second thought was to do something dumb. So we go to the big ramp over here and we're gonna, we're gonna do something stupid. We're gonna adjust our gravity to something manageable. Yeah, that's good. We're dropping in, we're gonna pop, boom. Lower the gravity to nothing so we're continuously floating up and there. You can see where you can see where the thought process is going with this. I was thinking if I, you know, taped the thumbstick to the right, so it would continuously hold a kickflip. Um, I would just let it sit, and we'd do 100,000 kickflips. But there's a couple of issues with this idea. The first issue is that this would still probably take eight to ten hours. And then let's hypothetically say I catch it, I lower our gravity to some point where we're gonna eventually hit the ground. I have no idea how many kickflips I did. So I see what you guys are saying. You just go to settings, turn on a uh, trick feedback, and then do it again. Not only am I doing forward flips, I also have no idea how many kickflips I'm doing. So then I was thinking like, what if I just set a timer for 10 hours, left it here, came back and tested it. There's two issues with that. <laughs> the first one is let's say I land it. We bring it back down. I give it like a 4% chance that after 10 hours, I'll actually land it. We'll probably get that glitch where our legs go through our face. Okay, 62 flip, 4,500 forward 62 flip. There's still absolutely no way to know if I did 100,000 kickflips until after we, what the hell? Until after we land it. And that would just be probably one of the bigger wastes of time in my entire life would be to set that up for 10 hours, come back to my computer and find out I did like 99,482 or something. So me being the innovative, entrepreneurial, sexy, handsome, perfect, flawless individual that I am. I came up with a solution and it was to do one kickflip just like that. And with the power of editing, have one kickflip then have two kickflips, then have 10 kickflips, then have a hundred kickflips, then have 500 kickflips, then a thousand, then 10,000, then 30,000, then 60,000. 
all the way up until we go to 100,000, just so we can see the sheer size, the sheer velocity of 100,000 kickflips without wasting my entire day. I love you guys. I'm not staying awake for 27 hours to do this. Before we do that, though, I did want to give this video <laughs> a little bit of substance as opposed to having it, you know, just be that. I thought we could explore some of our favorite maps and just enjoy Skater XL for what it is because that's pretty much the only reason this channel saw any success. Oh my god, that's a bizarre sight to see. I feel like the courthouse map is a pretty damn good map to start out with because that was pretty much the OG Skater XL map in 2018. Trying to bring ourselves back to the reasons we love Skater XL. Dude, why? Why is this happening? I don't know, man. What if we go this way? Apparently, I found a speed glitch that works 100% of the time. That's cool. We'll skate the manual pad. Start out with just simple tricks, simulating real life. That's what this game's all about. Manual, back 180. One notch up. Nose manual. Front 180 switch tail tap. I meant to do that. Kickflip nose manny. Kickflip manny. Nose manny nolly flip. Oh, that was a weird one. Kickflip nose manny nolly flip. There we go. Uh, Kickflip nose manny nolly tray. Tray flip nose manual nolly tray. Okay, we're getting techy now. Tray flip nose manual. Ooh, I lost it. I died. I suck. There it is. I, I'd never do that. That's actually kind of sick. And what about laser flip laser flip nose manny nolly laser is kind of crazy nolly laser Ooh, that one's next nolly laser nose manny nolly laser that we're, we're ending the manny's off with that one we got to do one nice little casual stroll around the courthouse not trying that you'd think because i've been playing this game since 2018 you'd think over the amount of years that i've been playing this i would start to have a pretty well-rounded understanding of the game and be able to like do lines you'd think but you guys know if you've been watching the content over the years i never really got better at the game like I, i've been at my 2018 skill level for the majority of skater xl where a lot of these other skater xl creators you know milky night speeds have kind of branched out and explored the the mods and i just never really got there i did a line though that was cool i figured this would be a good map to film this video on because in my opinion this is still one of the best skater xl maps to exist right now again i don't want to make this video too sappy and like too talky i want to ask you guys a question and say thank you a lot of you guys don't even know that this channel is pretty relatively new within the last year and it started completely as a passion-based project where it started like the beginning of quarantine with COVID and everything. I was uploading consistently on my main channel, my skateboarding channel, and then the skate parks closed. No one really knew what was happening with COVID and the pandemic and all of that. And I'd always wanted to be a gaming content creator and I had this channel made, but nothing was, was posted on it. And I kind of just took a leap of faith and I was like, I'm not doing anything else because of this whole pandemic. I'm just gonna start posting on it and just for fun to occupy my brain and keep me creative. You know, the first video I posted ended up doing really well and I was like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna post more and as I keep posting the channel keeps growing and people are really enjoying the content and now it's to the point you know a year later where this channel is more successful than my main channel with almost 800,000 subscribers and we hit an insane 100,000 subscriber milestone and I just wanted to say as formally as I can through the internet and through social media thank you guys for you know, turning, I don't even want to say turning a dream into reality because this wasn't even a dream. This was just for fun. Now it's gotten to a point where it is a real, <laughs> a, a real YouTube channel. Um, and that's all thanks to you guys. So I want to say thank you for everyone that's subscribed. Even if you hate my content, if you watch it, um, thank you. I, I really do appreciate it. And then the question I wanted to ask is something that's curious to me because I see it come up a lot on stream of people saying like, oh, the, the first video I watched of you was this. Oh, I remember you did this video. Whereas to me, I've posted so many videos on this channel, some I love and I'm super passionate about, some I look back and I'm like, wow, why did I ever post this to YouTube? So I, I'd really appreciate if you guys could think for a quick sec and 
First of all, comment what the first video I cannot skate while I'm talking. What was the first video of this channel that you ever saw or the, the video that made you subscribe or whatever the most like the, the first video you saw? Second, what's your favorite video on this ch entire channel? The video that you would watch again, the most enjoyable, the one that you thought was the best. I want to know that. And then third, what was your least favorite video? What video were you like? damn the the fame got to him this content sucks like i i really am curious because from a content creator standpoint it's probably going to be very different from a content consumer standpoint because the way that youtube seems to go for me is the videos that i hate are the videos that you guys love and the videos that i love are the videos that you guys aren't too fond of so i'm just gonna skate around for a bit think about those questions type them out in the comments um and let me know because i i have no idea where it's gonna go and while you guys are doing that i am going to sash this gap to handrail i'm gonna do tricks that make me think of of pro skaters or, sk or skaters first trick well kickflip back lip is a pretty standard trick in skateboarding nowadays which is crazy to think about um but to this day when i see a kickflip back lip i think alex midler he's just kickflip back lip king and then let's go Full cap flip lip. That one's got to go to Nija. That's just, he owns that trick, I would say. And then not a rail trick, but gotta show love. Front side flip. If you don't think of Andrew Reynolds when you think front side flips, you are in <laughs> incorrect. While we're on the topic of stairs, we'll do big spin. That one's got to go to Chris Jocelyn. And then I gotta say for backside flip, I would say Sheckler. Let me do, let me do a backside flip the Sheckler way though. Perfect. Switch front three. TJ Rogers, 100%. We got to do the, the Garrett Jenner special on this rail. It sucks that my my quote unquote signature trick in real life, I can't even do good in Skater XL. Hold on. Did you guys just see that? He just, he, oh, <laughs> he came back. I was going to say he levitated. He went to the heavens and then he came back and he's just walking like nothing ever happened. I want to do Crookback Smith. Cause that's the trick I prefer in real life. But for whatever reason, in the four years I've been playing Skater XL, I still can't do it. I can sometimes do crook back lips good, but I, I have to pop. I don't know to this day, I don't know how people do combo tricks in Skater XL so good, where they can do like a crook and to back Smith, but not pop in between. They just like nudge it in like you would in real life. I just never unlocked that skill in this game. Apparently I, I wish, I wish I did. Oh, that was a crook back lip though. Yeah, I just don't think that that's going to go down today. Oh, this is more of an Alex Midler kickflip back lip rail. Alex does them much better in real life. <laughs> that's a pretty sick flex to do a trick better in real life than you can do in a video game. That's pretty cool. Is it time? Do we just, do we jump on into it? I don't even know how I'm going to edit this yet. Ladies and gentlemen and anything else you identify as because it's 2022. Prepare yourselves for the first ever 100,000 kickflips in Skater XL. But I hear myself in my headphones. It's so hard to use that voice changer effect and still talk normally. I gotta at least make the kickflip look good because we're gonna do it 100,000 times. Maybe not in the middle of the road in case a car comes right here. Was that worthy? Was that worthy of 100,000 kickflips? That was kind of an ugly kickflip. I want a better one. Maybe we try a uh, bone kickflip. Clearly, I can't do it. Come on. I can't even do a kickflip in this game. Let's see it. Let's see if that was worthy. Yeah, I mean, we had some phantom catch there. And it was kind of absurdly bone, but like... That's Skater XL for you. That captures Skater XL beautifully. So now we got to trim the clip. If we're seeing this 100,000 times, it's got to be visually ap appealing to the eyeballs. That's a kickflip. Is that, is, is that the one? Is that the kickflip you guys are about to see 100,000 times? I, th I think that's it. I think now I have to figure out how to edit this. Step one one kickflip step two 10 kickflips step three 
Should we just bounce straight up to 100? Let's do 100 kickflips. I mean, we still have 99,900 more to go. So here's a thousand kickflips. 5,000 kickflips. 10,000 kickflips. 25,000 kickflips. Let's double that. Let's go to 50,000 kickflips. That's 50,000 kickflips. That, that's half of 100,000. Seeing it in kickflip perspective really puts into perspective how many things 50,000 is. 60,000. 70,000. 80,000. 90,000. 95,000. 99,000. 99,900. 99,999 kickflips. And finally, the moment that this exhilarating YouTube video has been building up for, 100,000 kickflips. Each one of these kickflips represents one of you watching this video. Think about that. That's pretty crazy. Lo and behold, 100,000 kickflips. And on that note, I never want to see another kickflip ever again. <laughs> so thank you um, one final time for everything you've done for me and this channel. I'm excited for the future of this and knowing how hard I worked on my main channel and how hard I didn't work on this channel. I'll probably see you guys at a million subscribers first on this channel. I really am looking forward to reading the comments of this video and kind of reminiscing with you guys on what you've enjoyed, what you haven't enjoyed, what you loved, what you hated. And I'm going to end it off in the only suitable way, which is by doing a kickflip. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, bye.